Hello and welcome to the session that's work out the following problem. It says prove that the degree measure of an arc of a circle is twice the angle subtended by it at any point of the alternate segment of the circle with respect to the arc. In figure 3, O is the center of the circle. Prove that angle X plus angle Y is equal to angle Z. So this is the figure 3 and we have to prove that angle X plus angle Y is equal to angle Z. Let's now move on to the solution. And let's first write what is given to us. We are given a circle with center O. angle AOB at the center and angle ACB at any point C on the remaining part of the circle what we have to prove? We have to prove that the angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by the same arc at any point on the remaining part of the circle. That means we have to prove that angle AOB is twice the angle ACB. Right? And to prove this, let's do some construction. that we have already done. Join OC and produce it to a point P. And join OA and OB that we have already joined. We have to join OC and we have to produce it to a point P. Right? Let's now start the proof. Now in triangle AOC, OA is equal to OC because these are the radii of the circle now angle OCA is equal to angle OAC angle OCA that is this angle is equal to this angle as we know that angles opposite the equal sides are equal angles opposite the equal sides are equal now also angle POA angle POA that is this angle is equal to angle OCA plus angle OAC that is sum of these two angles because this is the exterior angle of the triangle Now, from a 
form of we can see that angle OCA is equal to angle OAC. So we have angle POA is equal to angle OCA plus angle OA OCA because OAC is equal to OCA. So this is equal to twice of angle OCA as angle OCA is equal to angle OAC. Right. Similarly, taking triangle BOC will have angle POB is twice of angle OCB that is this angle will be twice of angle OCB right let us name this as 1 and this as 2 right now adding 1 and 2 We have angle POA plus POB is equal to twice of OCA plus twice of angle OCB. Now angle POA plus POB is angle AOB. If you add them up it is the complete angle AOB and this is twice of angle OCA plus angle OCB. Now OCA plus OCB is this complete angle that is angle ACB. So it is twice of angle ACB. So we have proved that angle AOB is twice of angle ACB. So this proves the first part of the question. Now in the second part of the question we have to prove that angle X plus angle Y is equal to angle Z. Now, let's first write what is given to us. We are given a circle with center O. And we have to prove that angle X plus angle Y is equal to angle Z. So let's now start the proof. Now we know that angle Y is the exterior angle of triangle DFB that is this triangle therefore angle Y is equal to the sum of these two angles that is let's name this as 1 and 2 angle 1 plus angle 2 so this implies angle 2 is equal to angle Y minus angle 1. Now similarly, this angle is the exterior angle of the triangle AEB. Let us name this as 3. So angle 3 is the exterior angle. 
of triangle AEB. Therefore, we have angle 3 is equal to angle 1 plus angle X. So, we have angle 3 is equal to angle 1 plus angle X. Now, let us name this as 1 and this as 2. Also, angle Z is twice the angle 2. Right? By the above theorem, that is, angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point of the circle. So, angle Z is twice the angle 2, but also angle 2 is equal to angle 3, angle subtended in the same segment, that is angles in same segment are equal. So from 3 we have angle Z is equal to angle 2 plus angle 2. So we have angle Z is equal to angle 2 plus angle 3 as angle 2 is equal to angle 3. So this implies angle Z is equal to angle 2 is angle Y minus angle 1 plus angle 3 is angle 1 plus angle X. Now angle 1 gets cancelled with angle 1 and we are left with angle Z is equal to angle X plus angle Y. Hence we have proved that angle Z is equal to angle X plus angle Y. So this completes the question. While doing the question, this is very important to write all the reasons what you are using. This is by above theorem. So this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.